What up guys, it's your boy Hero, and today we're going to be doing a little bit different kind of video than we normally do. Um, I've never done social commentary on this channel before, but in light of what's happened this weekend, I kind of feel the need to. In case you guys don't know, there was a very large mass shooting that happened in um, Vegas this past weekend. There was a country concert going on, and there was a guy in a hotel room on the 32nd floor, very close to this party. Uh, he, he broke his windows, and he just started shooting a, a, a bunch of different guns into the crowd. Um, as you can see here from this clip I found, it's actually some of the most terrifying uh, and, and just disgusting things I've ever seen uh, I feel so sorry for these people and I just want to say um, if you guys know anyone who was involved in this I'm or at it or even there at all uh, or friends or anything like that I'm very sorry um, this is is coming back that over 500 people were shot and 59 were killed uh, 58 were killed as the time of me recording this, which it makes it the most deadliest uh, shooting in United States history. And it's all over nothing. Uh, uh, the guy who did it ended up killing himself. They're still trying to find a motive. But it's just an absolutely terrifying and disgusting thing. It's the worst uh, act of terrorism the United States has seen since 9-11. Uh, and that's really saying something uh, is it and it's and it's from it's from a U.S. citizen like it is crazy, you know. Uh, so once again, I just want to say I'm very sorry to all the people that were there and especially the people who lost their lives f from this and their and the families involved is is so t is so terrible. Uh, it really is. Um, but the the real the really big thing I want to talk about is. A lot of people are taking um, taking their attention away from this and putting it on to be a, a, a race issue. Some people are saying things like, oh, well, if it were a brown guy, they'd be considered an, a terrorist attack. If it were a black guy, they'd say it's gang related, you know, and things like that, which is just completely stupid. Uh, it's a valid point, but it's stupid because it's taken away from the fact that this is a it, this is just so terrible that it shouldn't even be related to anything else other than just something disgusting. It, it There doesn't need to be a race issue. There doesn't need to be, you know, a freaking Black Lives Matter protest when it comes to this. None, none of nothing. This has nothing to do with race. I'm sorry if I'm stuttering. I'm just I'm just very passionate about this. This has nothing to do with race. This is just a terrible person it doesn't matter black white asian hispanic um muslim uh, a mother of, of muslim descent it doesn't matter it does it really doesn't matter islamic it doesn't matter it, this is an evil and disgusting person and you know is he what he did had absolutely no purpose no reasoning behind it and 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 people are trying to say that now all of a sudden there's a freaking agenda that the government is trying to go through where every time a, a white guy does something, it's a mental disorder or some kind of thing. Like it doesn't matter the reason it doesn't, that stuff doesn't matter. What, what, what matters is that the, these people lost their lives and for, for what, for going to a concert, anybody could have, this could have been any of us. This could have been any of us. If, if you've ever been to a concert before, this could have been you. And that's, that is terrifying that you can't even go you can't even go to an open field with like that's completely safe a safe environment there were police everywhere you can't even do that without getting without a chance of dying with losing your life come on man come on so there's this definitely is going to bring up the discussion of the 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 age old discussion of should um should the second amendment be changed uh should there be no allow allowance to bear firearms um and well i i i definitely see that there is going to be a lot of discussion about that and there's a lot of room for discussion about that 
But keep in mind, this guy was a special case. He had a lot of fucking guns and a lot of fucking um, ammunition. Apparently, he was prepared for this, which is the ghost of to question how he got all this stuff in the hotel to begin with that's a whole nother story though but um this is not a normal thing like most people who have a gun uh, only need uh, you know a small pistol for protection they usually don't have fucking ars and all this shit this dude was like prepared to fucking fight ice or something like i don't know what the fuck is going on how he had that many fucking guns there shouldn't there's sh- there's no reason for anyone in the united states to own an ar if you ask me there's no reason for that i don't even know why that's a thing i think that people should just have one pistol or two pistol whatever you want to look at small guns you don't need a fucking ar like unless you're fucking about to go to the war like you don't need that just just chill out like you know what i mean just chill out um uh, but yeah, I just want to to say this this stuff, guys. I'm 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 sorry if I'm babbling on, but I I'm really like in shock. The, like all the people that that lost their lives over this, I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, to the to the families that are involved, I'm so sorry if you knew anyone. I personally actually did um, know someone involved in this. They didn't they didn't get hurt, but you know they could have, and it's it's just a scary a scary thought, man. And yeah. Um, I'm sorry. This was a terrible social commentary. I tried to throw some stuff in there, but you know, it, I'm just, I'm just way too, I'm way too fucked up to even be thinking logically about this right now. I'm just, I'm just so pissed off at the, at the world for this kind of thing happening, you know, but what can you do? Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, definitely. Let me know what you guys think. I really want to hear about it. Anyway, it's your boy hero. See you guys next time. Peace.